So what is up guys, it's Shay Suso here and I'm going to talk about the Rune Optimizer. I made a video about this in the past, like 10 months ago, and there's been like a lot and a lot of updates. So I actually want to update this video as well. So in my previous video, I already showed you how to get the, um, the JSON file. I will link it in the description. Uh, I imported it and I'm going to use my little notepad just to write down some things. So the most important thing, in my opinion, when you're uh, going to uh, do the rune optimizer is like focus on what do you want to do or what do you want to like optimize. Like you can simply just go for like one monster, but especially like rune removals coming up, you want to like rune specific teams. Like to progress in this game, you have to rune teams and not just monsters. So what I mostly did for progressing was like every rune removal, I played from rune removal to rune removal and I hardly upgraded like any runes. I hardly uh, just like making the blues plus 6, the heroes plus 9 and the legends plus 12 but not switching any runes, n not wasting any money on that or like any mana and from rune removal to rune removal I would be like okay uh, I wanna improve my speed lucian team and my copper team and um, improve guild for defense and uh, AD just like a couple of things I want to work on and then you have like a list of monsters like uh, Theomars, uh, make will um, for uh, just giving examples my Theomars is already on will but just like um, Lucian Swift damage Second Lucian, uh, Swift Will, for example, it's just like you're making a list of all these things you want to do and then you're going to do the rune optimize and just like like sort them out one by one and I think that's the best way for to do like a successful, like a really good um, rune removal by using this tool and just writing down what you want to focus on. So for now I'm just going to show you like for example the creating speed Lucian team. Well, my Bernard is already sorted out. Um, my Megan also kind of sorted out. So let's go for a Lucian. So what you see here, normally this is all clear. I think I really recommend is use these presets. Um, you can set like a preset based on like a monster. You can see I have some presets set, but not all of them. And you can also create like general speeds uh, or like um, a general uh, preset. So in this case, um, let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to make a preset just for this Lucian. Um, how do you do it again? <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> I haven't used this actually in a while. I've been like slacking on using um, this like, let's say new. Okay, preset, we call it, whoops, clicked it away, that's not what you should do. I haven't been using like presets that much lately, but I should. Th this stuff is good because you're wasting like a lot of time uh, setting up all this stuff every time. So let's say, um, blade on a speed, crit damage, attack. And we're focusing on attack, speed, crit rate, crit damage. I want at least, 70 crit rate uh, so I can also use this with a seek and for the rest I don't really mind don't just close it save it so I call this preset uh, it's called preset 2 let's see what I can use now yeah preset it's called preset 2 right now you can also make a preset specifically for months but since I have three illusions it's kind of messing up so let's say for Fuko I want to make a preset um, I think you can just say, you have to say, yeah, Fuko, yes, create a preset for him. You don't really need a preset name. Let's say I would make him uh, Revenge Violent, the way to go for Necro Team, and attack, crit rate, crit damage, attack, basing on attack, crit rate, crit damage, uh, maybe a bit of HP, maybe a bit of Aki, I want it at least like 60 crit rate, 35 Aki, rest is all okay. Save it, 
it's named Fuko, but it's like you can change the name. Right now, there's no preset for Fuko, but if I switch this, you see that's the preset I just set, like the 60, the 35. Use this stuff. It's like you're, if you're like really into this stuff, you're gonna use it a lot, and you wanna set these presets. And also, if you're like uh, switching, like for example, you're using Lucian doesn't use Swift anymore, but it's gonna use Violence now always, or Fado or whatever. Switch those presets is really gonna help you. So let's see for this one, and especially like these presets, if you have like a lot of monsters, like I made this one, which is like similar to the Fuko one I just made. I made this one uh, for Necro Team because like if you have this kind of set on your Necro Team. The whole necro team is fine. So if multiple uh, monsters use it, use a preset for like everything. So right now I made this one. Here you have some options. Use lock. I'll talk into that more. Ignore locked runes. Yeah. Use only infantry. I mostly like unselect this one. Um, only use plus 12. That's fine. This is like... Um, I only have these kind of runes. So I don't really mind about that. The focus is like sometimes, for example, you don't need that much speed, but um, you still want high speed on it. I actually recommend them to not take this in because if this is the focus is there, it's gonna check like every rune has to have some speed and stuff. So some runes that are maybe like really high on crit rate or really high on attack, they're getting like sorted out and, and they're like not actually there. Um, so that can be an issue. Uh, also for this, you just play around with it. That's what you think works best for you. So like high crit rate, crit damage a little bit higher. Um, crit rate 70%, that's fine. I always use the plus 15. And then you can hit optimize. So as you can see right now, um, you're seeing like quite a lot of data. You can check like ah, how much is upgrading with runes, runes is it taking. But the real cool thing is this one. You can press the little cock here and then you can select the second option. Go for amputation magic. Max skills. I got it with a Bernard lead. I use an attack buff. Ignore defense. Apply. Currently it's hitting like uh, 8.6k. So I can actually up this. I can hit like 9.5k. Uh, but the thing is, like, I got um, 187 speed right now. Let's say I want at least 200 speed to counter the nemesis. Like, see? Right there. It's like, I'm not dropping that much in speed. Or I'm not dropping that much in damage, but I'm getting, like, a lot of speed, for example. I could even do this if I want to. It's just, you, you could play around with that. And also, right now, you see, like, I'm using Swift, but what if I say, like, I remove the Swift? It's going to have like a lot of more options to calculate. If you're having too many options, set your focus, then there's like less options most of the time. See right there, it's like 200 and I'm hitting like 400 more. So sometimes like this tool is like really good to get like these broken sets. So for example, let's say I'm going for this. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, this is using some runes or monsters of mine that I don't want to use. Like for example, this Alicia rune. Alicia rune, Theomar's rune, I just, I exclude them. Um, there's also a way to like lock monsters. And, um, but the thing is like, for example, uh, your Lucians, you want to have like the best runes on pretty much most of the time. So I'd, in that case, I prefer to do it this way. Just like manually checking every rune. It's like, do I want this on Lucian or do I want to keep it on my other monster? And just like repeating this. I want to keep this. Uh, I'm not using copper that much, for example. That's okay. And next one. And this way you can sort out like every uh, option you have. So let's say, Chow, Copper, Copper, uh, that's like, a, for example, I wouldn't use these monsters. I could, um, I, I'm going to use this set. So what I could do is equip these runes. Um, 
in this case like I could equip it and then you can see like this is like one of the newer features it says origin from Tark and the new location is Lucian the only problem with um, equipping runes is that right now copper doesn't have a slot one rune if I would go to copper right now it doesn't have a slot rune one rune so for example if I would like um, uh, I would go to optimize copper it already has some sets yeah let's put this in real quick um, defense buff ignore defense yes maybe a 40% del for it I don't know see you can see like Oh, like I can like change a little and it's improving so much damage, but this is like a wrong thing because I'm actually not using one rune right now and it looks like oh, I'm going up so much in damage and oh, the, the next set is like so much better. But that's actually not the case. Simply because it's using five runes right there. So that's something to keep in mind if you actually want to... Um, my In my opinion, it's best to... Uh, not equip the runes until you have like the other monsters sorted out as well if you just keep like all the um, belts you have like up here at the end you can just like equip everything and then you can see like the locations where it's from uh, one thing you have to watch out every time you import a new um, json file all of the belts will be gone so that's something to keep in mind um, so let's say for example uh, lucian Third Lucian, also this preset. Let's say, for example, I want to make him like a damage one. But I don't need the speed. Well, then again, we have to set the damage skill of Lucian, attack buff, ignore defense, yes, attack lead. Oh, I actually did attack lead on the, uh, on the copper. That's not really that useful. But still, here you can see like this is the damage output I would be able to get. And as you could see, um, it's pretty much taking <laughs> almost everything from my first Lucian. If I would get this to like 95, this is pretty much my whole Lucian set. Is it? This one is. No. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the thing like how you can do the rune optimizer. Um, but what if, for example, I'm going to ruin uh, my Foucault? And I'm going to set this belt and everything is fine. And I'm going to check him for damage that's based on Foucault. Let's say second skill, attack buff, defense break, max on this one. Nothing here. Okay, it's going to do damage. I can increase a lot. That's cool. That's cool. But now I have like, okay, this rune is not available for you. This one is not. And maybe there's like, it's going to run into, but in this case, not that much. Let's say, let's say, maybe a different example. Hmm, who should I pick? Who should I pick? Uh, let's like, for example, remove the revenge. Then I know there's some more runes going to pop up that are better. Okay, so right now it's using like uh, Lucian, Shran, Rook, it can't use. And I probably can like repeat this thing like a hundred times because every time he's gonna take runes that are like actually really good. But Fuko is like, it's not a monster. I want a rune good enough for Necro, but not extremely good because that's not needed. So I just probably have to take like hours to. Like exclude every time this rune and stuff. You can also like for example include a rune that it always has to use that rune. So let's say for example I find this build that I want. So I cl include all of those. And you could simply... Um, is it not gonna... I think it has some trouble because I included something I also excluded. Ah, now it's not finding any pearls. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I'm going to use this. And there's only one rune that's, like, optional. In this case, I recommend just, like, for example, I only want to have, like, a violent, or, like, let's say a blade rune on this slot. 
In this case, the best is to go to the runes right here, go for a blade, slot 3, and you can like manually check in here, like set the filters the way you want to. And you can check here, like let's say I want a lot of speed on it. And maybe like something that's only like in inventory. And you're gonna say like, ah, okay, I can use this rune. Sometimes it's like speeding up the process. You just have to write like the ID. And then you can just like uh, put it in here. That's like an option to uh, do some rune optimizing as well. Uh, which I was talking about before drafting off of something different. It's like, yeah, um, for Fuko, I don't want the best runes that I have. So what you could do is going to your monsters and you can actually lock them. So every monster you say like, okay, I don't... Uh, um, what I mostly do is first I rune like or like optimize every monster that I uh, uh, have, that I say like, okay, this monster could use potentially any good rune that I have. Like for example, my Theomars, my uh, Alicia, they got like the best runes. Um, Chan, not that much, but I have like a couple of monsters that have for sure the best runes that I have of that set, like a Kumar or my Lucian. And um, when I sorted those monsters out, the thing is like, okay, I'm not gonna use some of these runes for sure. So I would lock Orion, Theomars, um, maybe Marina, Alicia, Chao, and so on and so on. And what you can use then is like, um, because uh, use locked runes is not selected, the optimizer will never take any of these runes of the monsters that you lock. So that's like, I'm mostly like split them up into uh, things. Like first the monsters that can use any runes and then the monsters that can use like all of the runes except for these monsters that I just said. Um, so yeah, I think that's like pretty much wrapping it up. Um, I'm going to make another video about like, because you've seen like there's a lot of more options and tools in here. And I also want to talk about those, but I'm going to do it in a separate video, which is pretty much just like tips around the uh, rune optimizer. This video was pretty much just to show how I rune optimize, uh, what you should focus on. And also check out the previous video. Maybe I've like forgot a couple of things. Maybe it's like telling most of the same things, I think. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you to see you at the ones from the tips as well because there's some really cool stuff and you should see that.